Hi everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome to this unit. This is unit number four. This is our last unit. We have been working very hard and congratulations. Now we got the fourth unit. It's a pleasure for me to be here again with you. Welcome to this amazing program, Vamos para la Universidad. Remember, this is English Wank and now we are going to start with this unit. I have some news for you. I don't know if they are good news or bad news. Because of the time and because we are running out, running out of time, we are going to cover four weeks in three weeks because you are living and you are going on vacation. So we are going to work really hard during the, those last three weeks. So take advantage of this program because I, am, I know that you are learning a lot. Special greetings for all my colleagues, for all the teachers there, for all the students and for all the teachers and the students who, who must attend this class of Lyme. So welcome and we are going to start. Vamos para la universidad. This is English one and the name of this unit is Gathering Around My Town. So, Conociendo mi pueblo alrededor. So, from today, I am going to explain the last creation activity. Como ya le había contado a los profesores, en la reunión, desde hoy vamos a, a, a contar qué es la última actividad de creación. La vamos a explicar incluso para mayor información. Ustedes pueden ir también en la semana 4 de la cuarta unidad y pueden encontrar la información. Dice, instrucción. Introducción, I'm sorry. En esta unidad harás un video, esa es la actividad de creación, sobre tu municipio. En él recogerás todo lo que has aprendido en las unidades, en las otras unidades, sobre ti mismo o ti misma. Las personas importantes para ti, lo que haces, lo que comes, cómo es tu pueblo, cómo llegar a él. Y hay algo, a lo último lo vamos a compartir con los otros estudiantes de otros pueblos. Entonces, por ejemplo, los de Vegachí le van a mandar a los de Gómez Plata. Eh, los de Gómez Plata pueden compartir también con las personas de Amalfi, eh, de Yolombó, con la profesora, por ejemplo, por acá, Catherine. Nosotros, ellos pueden compartir con la otra institución, digamos, de Támesis. Entonces, vamos a hacer un video y... En, los, en, el, en, la, en la semana 4 van a encontrar toda la instrucción desde ya. ¿Por qué? Porque como algunos estudiantes are going on vacation, they are going on vacation, de los profesores necesitan, como es deber de los profesores, subir estas últimas notas de vamos para la universidad en la actividad de creación, deben, deben calificarles un poco antes. Entonces el tiempo lo define exactamente el profesor al interior del aula. On the previous week, we explained the third creation activity y le dimos una semana. Para esto el profesor puede decir, bueno, puede ser una semana, pueden ser dos semanas, lo que le va a dar dependiendo de cuándo se cierren las notas en, en cada uno de sus colegios porque también le sirve para el proceso. Algunos profesores me decían, bueno, yo la, la evaluación final se la voy a tener en cuenta con el promedio de las cuatro actividades de creación y esa va a ser la, la, la evaluación final o ese va a ser el proyecto final que vale el tanto por ciento. Esos porcentajes ya los definen al interior del aula de acuerdo a la normatividad de cada colegio y según las circunstancias. So, this is, we are going to work on a video. Y en esta unidad recogemos todo lo que hemos hecho en unidades anteriores. Entonces hay muchas cosas de unidades anteriores que le van a servir para hoy. Por ejemplo, la actividad guiada de hoy tiene algunas partes que ya la habíamos hecho en la unidad 2 y ustedes pueden devolverse y sacar cosas de ahí. Entonces vamos a empezar a recoger los frutos que durante inglés 1 hemos venido haciendo. So we are going to continue and welcome. Objetivos. En esta unidad practicarás instrucciones escritas para llevar a cabo actividades cotidianas, cotidianas, personales y académicas. Descripciones orales sobre una situación, persona, lugar u objeto. Instrucciones para realizar una acción. Descripciones de personas, lugares, objetos o hechos relacionados con temas y situaciones familiares. Mensajes 
con diferentes propósitos relacionados con situaciones, objetos o personas del entorno inmediato. So, like always, today we are going to have a, a welcome video. So, this video is by Simon and we are going to listen to Simon. This is really interesting. So, here we have Simon. Hi, this is the end of the course. In this part, we are going to consolidate what we have learned during the previous lessons. Here, we will learn about how to get to a place, and we will have the opportunity to share our doubts and comments with our teachers. Finally, we're going to share what we have learned so far. To do this, we will make a short video showing some features about our hometown. To complete the video, we will need the activities we did before and create new ones. Congratulations, it was a pleasure to be with you. See you on the next level. Simon, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you here in this course. Here, Roddy explained the video. He said that we are going to create a video using the previous activities and creating new ones and we are going to share it with all, all the students or other students. So that's what we are going to do in this. This is going to be like the final activity. This first week has a name and the name is where do you prefer to live? And for example, uh, Catherine would say, I prefer to live in Yolombo. The countryside is amazing. People from Institución Educativa Jesús María Rojas, they say, I prefer to be in the city because in the city you can find everything. And so there are many people, for example, from Tamesis, some people would say, I prefer to live in Tamesis because in Tamesis uh, it's calm and it's really amazing. So it depends on you. Where do you prefer to live? Okay, nowadays, Nowadays, I prefer to live in the city because in the city I can find the university, uh, my work, what I do. However, in the future, I want to live in a farm with animals, cows, hens, uh, pigs, different animals. Therefore, I am planning to have a farm in the future. It could be here near Medellín, it could be in La Unión, El Retiro, eh, La Ceja o El Peñol. I love cold weather. I don't, I don't like hot weather to live. I am kind of desperate when I am like in the, in the beach, for example, in Cartagena, places like that. It's just to have a vacation, but I wouldn't be able to live there. So I, yes, I say I, I prefer to live like in the cold, in a, in a cold place. Students, Angela de la Institución Educativa Sap Tamesis say, students say they prefer to live here in Tamesis. Yeah, that's very important that you love your place, that you feel comfortable with your place. Very good, Angela. Where do you prefer to live? Now, now I prefer to live here, but I'm planning my future when I am retired Cuando me jubile muchos años, cuando ya esté jubilado, I prefer, I want to live in a farm. Uh, so, let's, this is the name of this unit. Where do you prefer to live? Okay, let me know. I am going to show some terms and you are going to let me know if you know, if you know them. If you know, for example, oh, this is Tamesis, or this is La Ceja, or this is Santa Fe Antioquia, or this is El Retiro, or this is Jardín, or this is uh, whatever place. Uh, so, we love uh, Institución Educativa, Darío Gutiérrez says, we love living here in Caldas Town. Excellent, excellent. I love when someone is happy living in a place. That's really interesting. Uh, very good. So, for example, this place, if you don't know it, this is Santa Fe de Antioquia. 
Santa Fe is really a beautiful place and there you can find many attractions and you can have like a hot weather and you can go to a river, you can go to a big bridge. It's really interesting. It's really beautiful as well. And secondly, do you know this other town? Look, look at the look at look at the houses. They seem to be like or uh, like or oh, Christmas decoration, right? Like Damasco, el pesebre escondido de Antioquia, right? It seems to be like a pesebre here in Colombia. Yeah, Catherine, you got, it's like el peñolo, guatape, they are kind of similar, you know, the decoration, but this is, in this case, this is, oh my God, it's, it's kind of slow now, but this is guatape, and you know, guatape and el peñol, they are kind of close, and there we have La Roca, eh, La Piedra del Peñol, right? So it's Guatape, but it seems to be like El Peñol. Very good, Catherine. Hello, Catherine and students from Yolombo. Eh, while you are participating, I'm going to be saying hello. Voy saludando a los que me van participando. What about this one? This is a very traditional town in our place, in Antioquia. You know, in Antioquia, we have many beautiful places to visit, right? I have seen many for foreigners and they come here to Medellin and they go to those places. They always go to those places where I'm showing, the ones I'm showing. So, uh, for example, this one is Jardin. It's Jardin. It, it has a, a beautiful, they has a beautiful landscape. It's really interesting and it's very big. It's really, really amazing to be there. So, what I do in my town? ¿Qué hago yo en mi pueblo? A ver, ¿ustedes qué pueden hacer en su pueblo que sea como interesante? For example, I live in Envigado. I, in Envigado, I can go to the mountains as well. I can go to the mountains. Uh, there is like a countryside part in Envigado. Additionally, we have a very good um, transportation mean. We have el metro, we have some buses, and in Envigado we have the like the stadium, and we have art galleries. There are many interesting places to visit. And you are going to let me know. So, in this first part, we are going to watch a video about a girl talking about activities she does in her town. Ustedes van a prestar mucha atención a las actividades que ella hace en su pueblo, eh, si las hace ella o si las hace Simón, Simon, si las hace él. Entonces ustedes me van a contar cuál de los dos hace las cosas porque enseguida hay una actividad de falso y verdadero o si hay información que no se menciona. Por ejemplo, institución educativa Darío Gutiérrez. We can visit el Alto de San Miguel and other places. Yo espero que dentro de sus trabajos esté ese alto de San Miguel, porque I don't know about it. So you, you gotta show me. And that's gonna be really interesting for me. I have been to Caldas, but I have been only like Tablaza, then I go to uh, Caldas. It's like the Central Park in, in Tablaza, uh, but I have never visited. Ah, yeah. Once I went to a river and someone told me that if I, if I continue walking, that's going to be like the beginning of the Rio Medellin, the like Medellin River. So, we are going to watch the vi this video, right? Y entonces después de este video le vamos a dar de una de las preguntas que tenemos, de una vez. Discuss with a classmate, para que discutamos con un compañero y también me pongan aquí en el chat. What are they talking about? ¿De qué están hablando? Where is she from? She's from Colombia, she's from Spain, she's from Medellin, she's from Envigo. What places did she mention? So you are going to let me know about the places. What can you do in her hometown? Activities that you can do there. What are some interesting sites? So I'm going back, I'm, I'm going to show you the video and then you're going to help me with the answers. And where are you from? I'm from the city of La Terna Primavera. Or in English, you can call it the city of the eternal spring. Oh, is that Medellin? Yeah. Okay, so are there any nice places in Medellin? 
Well, you know, Simon, Medellin is a great city. One of the reasons I like it is because there are lots of parks. There is a really big park in the north of the city. I like it very much. And is it beautiful? Yes, it is. It's a botanical garden. It has plants from many different places around the country. And there's also a small lake in its center. But what I really love the most about that park is that once a year there's an exhibition called Orchids, Birds and Flowers. That sounds interesting. Sure. So, is there good shopping in your city? I'm crazy about shopping. Well, there are great shopping centers in Medellin. You know, Medellin is the second largest city in the country. So, we have a great offer of clothing, cars, coffee shops, and food from many different countries. So, it's a great place to shop. And how do you get around in Medellin? Do you take a bus? You can't take a bus, but Medellin has something very special no other city in Colombia has. There's a metro system, huge buses and a trolley bus. So you can get to lots of places around the city. I really like it. Uh, is it expensive? It's not so expensive because you can get on different vehicles with the same ticket. Oh, and what about schools in Medellin? Is there any big university? Well, there are three or four really big universities and there are some smaller universities. Also, there are some very good public and private high schools. Oh, that sounds like a great place to go to school. It's a pretty great place to live. Great. And uh, is there anything you don't like about your city? Yeah, I really hate pollution. Our city is pretty much polluted. There are too many cars. Oh, that's terrible. That's really a very good description about Medellin. That's really interesting. And I agree, I agree. I don't like pollution. And you know, Medellin is kind of polluted during those days. And it makes me very, very sad. Not only Medellin, all the, uh, all the series around. So you're going to help me with those answers. The first one, what are they talking about? Let me know. First, we have the first the first one. First, what are they talking about? Um, where is she from? Uh, it's a really good place. Very good, Ivan Dario. What places did she mention? What places did she mention? She is from Medellin, Institución Educativa Maria Roja. Very good. She is from Medellin. Very good. Number three. What can you do in her hometown? So she talked or she told us about different activities that we can perform here. So she's from Medellin. Uh, what, what are some interesting sites? So let, let me know. We are going to socialize some few answers because we, we need to continue. So for example, let me know about the activities that she mentioned here. Uh, so. Botanical garden, right. That's a very beautiful place. The botanical garden. You know, the botanical garden, she says it is in the north of the city. And she mentioned that there are many, many different things to see there. And additionally, she said that there is an exposition once a year. They speak about Medellin City about parks, universities, about means of transportation. Very good, Catherine. Very good. So, Institución Catia Darío Gutiérrez and Institución Catia Jesús María Rojas as well say Botanical Garden. So we are going to continue because today we have a lot of activities to do, right? Today it's gonna be like a different class because we have more activities to do. So, after watching the video, answer some questions to evaluate your comprehension. That's what we are going to do now. We have those, those, are those statements and we are going to say if they are true, if they are troll, or if the information is not mentioned. So not mentioned, true or false. You are going to let me know. For example, here I have the first and the second. For example, the first one, she likes parks in Medellin. Is it true or false? or the information is not mentioned, right? So just let me know. For example, number one, true, false, false, or not mentioned. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, for example, she likes number one. Remember to write the name. For example, you say, yes, true, true, true. It's, I guess it's number one. So she likes sports in Medellin. That's totally true. Very good. Now, number two. Number two. There is a big park at the center of the city. There is a big park at the center of the city. Institucion Ocatia de Sus Marías Rojas. Why? Why is it false? ¿Por qué es falso? Why? Let me know. Or I'm going to help you with that one. False. Yeah, it's false. Yeah, very good. I wanted to. Yeah, you got it. And it's in the north. North like in the middle. It's not like in the center of the city. That it's part of the north. Very good. Number three. The park is called the Central Garden. Is it true or false? Number three. Institución Ocatea Sus María Rojas y Catherine say it's false. What is the real name? What is the real name of that? Do you know? Botanical Garden. Very good. Yeah, I feel proud of Botanical Garden. It's really a beautiful place. Uh, four. There is, y ahorita vamos a hablar de este there is, y el there are que está acá. There is a big exposition once a year. True. Very good. We have about Very good. Institución Educativa de Sus María Rojas, Darío Gutiérrez. Que... No, they said, Catherine, they said that they, there is a big exposition. Uh, it's about orchids, orchidias, birds, and flowers. She mentioned it. Yeah, orchids, birds, and flowers. But thank you very much. Yeah, sometimes we help each other. Uh, number five. The girl likes to go shopping. A la chica es a la que le gusta ir de compras. A ver, eso lo dijeron ahí. Just let me know. Is it true or false? A ver, ¿qué se acuerdan? Not mentioned, dice institución que tiene sus María Rojas. Yeah, it's not mentioned. They say Simon is the person who likes to go shopping. But you know... It's not mentioned. I would say, yes, she likes go shopping because if you give one million to a girl, she spends two million. The year, the year very dangerous in a, in, a, in a shopping center, right? Dicen que ir con la novia, la mujer, en, en diciembre a un centro comercial se llama el paseo millonario, right? So, we got number six. Six, she uses the metro to go shopping. Really? True or false? Number six. True or false? Not mentioned. So you're not true? True. Number seven. The metro system is very expensive. Number seven. The metro system is very expensive. Number eight. So Catherine, say number seven is false. Okay, false. False or true? Now I'm com Okay, false this one. Now we are going to talk about it, then we go back. The metro system is very expensive. It's false because she says it's very cheap. With just one ticket, you can go on different buses or cars uh, around the city. For example, that's what we call here Sistemas Integrado de Transporte, right? Uh, number eight. There are a lot of places to study. Very good, true. So there are, she says, there are three or four big universities and so some smaller universities. In some places, they call smaller universities college. This is a college, right? Uh, number nine, the last one. She doesn't like crime in this Medellin. Not mentioned. Very good. It's not mentioned. She only talks about pollution. She doesn't like pollution. I don't like pollution, right? And we have to contribute to have a very good environment. So those are the answers here, true, false. And this is not mentioned. Where was the, not mentioned. Uh, so 
Let's continue. Hey, Institucional Catia Nori, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. So, hey, thank you very much for that participation. Nicely done. You have been working so hard on participation. You are improving a lot. Thank you very much. It makes me very, very happy. Eh, Anori, eh, bueno, tuvieron dificultades, pero qué bueno que pudieron llegar. A veces el internet falla, ¿cierto? Entonces es entendible, pero qué bueno que ya están acá. Estamos hablando sobre la ciudad y el campo y ahorita si de pronto pueden después se desatrasar un poquito el video porque ya expliqué la actividad de creación que va a quedar para esta cuarta unidad desde ya para que el profesor o profesora al interior del aula decida para cuándo va a ser esta última actividad de creación. Eh, so, let's continue. Actividad de comprensión. Yo le voy a ir pidiendo el favor mientras yo voy explicando esto, que ustedes allá, el profesor, vaya entrando al aula virtual, a la plataforma Moodle, vaya entrando y vaya buscando esta actividad. I like living in my city, me gusta vivir en mi ciudad. Eh, la vaya buscando porque enseguida van a ver unas actividades interactivas que yo las voy a explicar, pero les voy a dar un tiempo para que ustedes lo hagan, para que aprovechemos también eh, que estás eh, a, a hacer pues como de forma interactiva porque hay unas personas que se han esforzado mucho para hacerlo. At the moment I cannot use the screen sharing application. There is a problem with that, so I am going to use some screenshots, but however, however you are going to have the opportunity of dragging, dropping, moving, listening. So, objetivos. Discutir el lugar que se prefiere para vivir. Hablar sobre lugares comunes en el campo y la ciudad. Incorporar vocabulario sobre algunos sitios de la zona urbana. Entonces vamos a hablar de zona urbana, pero también de zona rural. Aquí, we have the instructions. Vamos a ir primero con part A and part B. Voy a explicar la parte A y la parte B y ahorita la C y la D. Dice, first... Listen to two recordings containing different sounds. Identify the sounds and tell where you can hear them. Entonces vamos, van a ver dos, dos son dos audios. And they are not related with language. They are related with sounds. And you are going to let me know, you are going to participate, and you say, okay, I can, I can hear those sounds in the city, I can hear those sounds in the countryside, I can hear those cities while I am at school. Eh, y la segunda, entonces dice, drag each word describing the sound to the corresponding cell. Entonces los sonidos van a estar ahí y los vamos a poder arrastrar. Entonces mientras yo estoy explicando acá, recuerden, va a ir a aula virtual en el navegador, va a abrir la ventanita y va a buscar en la semana, en la unidad 4, en la primera semana que se llama Where do you prefer to live? Vas a buscar esta, I like living in the city. Entonces vamos a mirar acá, for example, we are going to listen to, to both audios, right? First, the first one, it goes now. Now we are going to listen the second one.
now you're going to let me know where you can find those sounds like the first one the first track or the first audio where you can listen or where you can hear all those sounds and the second one just let me know in the chat if if you don't realize if you don't if you don't get them i'm going to help you here with the activities so i hope that you can do it in a moment you are going to let me know so now in port beat we are going to drag and drop but first of all we need to know the two, the two characteristics uh, both characteristics uh, institucional catario gutierrez says we can hear this sound in the street center zoo firm hospital yeah so there are two categories right very good institucional catario gutierrez yeah there are many places where you can hear them yeah catherine the first one is in the city second the life in the field happy and tranquility calm very good so we have city sounds the f here we have city sounds and countryside sounds for example people walking la primera acá people walking la, la, la primera del estrepo gente caminando donde podremos escuchar eso constantemente for example i would say that it would be in the city sound people walking por ejemplo, air hammer. Eso es un martillo de aire o taladro de aire, también algunas personas le dicen, para romper calles. Le pone a uno vibrar hasta los cachetes. Mike sexy checks, right? So, it would be don't air air hammer, it would be here. Air hammer. Dove barking. For example, Dove barking, uh, here in Colombia we say, whoa, whoa, whoa. In the United States people say, woof, woof, woof. But with dog barking we can hear. In the city, in the countryside, in the countryside as well, but it's like more common like in the countryside, dark, dog barking. Entonces, yo a ustedes les voy a dar más o menos tres minuticos para que terminen esto más las siguientes dos actividades que ya se las voy a mostrar que también son de vocabulario las palabras que no se sepan búsquenlas en el diccionario así sean on, online dictionary y así es una forma de aprender me van a completar este y también me van a hacer estas dos actividades en esta tienes que drag and drop también y hay un sonido hay un audio que si pueden lo escuchan allá o si no enseguida yo lo voy a poner de nuevo donde ustedes van a escuchar la pronunciación de estas palabras. Por ejemplo, eh, les voy a ayudar, por ejemplo, eh, la primera, que sería la vaca. Entonces sería aquí cow. Pero ustedes allá tienen la oportunidad de drag and drop. La arrastran y la van a poner allá. Les voy a ayudar con otra. Por ejemplo, esta corriente, este corriente de agua se llama stream. Es como un pequeño arroyito. Stream. Porque este grande ya sería un qué? Un río. No le va a ayudar más. Y también está el de la ciudad. El de la ciudad donde ustedes deben completar. Por ejemplo, cómo se dice sea cebra peatonal, eh, cómo se dice semáforo, cómo se dice caneca de basura. Entonces le voy a dar tres minuticos para que puedan hacer lo que, hasta donde lleguen. Y si pueden hacer también este de There is and there are, bien y enseguida lo vamos a socializar. Entonces, tres minuticos desde este momento para que usted, allá el profesor con los estudiantes, con la participación, lo vayan haciendo y enseguida socializamos algunas respuestas sobre todo estas, eh, enseguida lo socializamos. So, you got three minutes from now to do it. Go ahead, enjoy it. There are some words from here that you don't know. You should go to your dictionary and remember that in your notebook you should have a new vocabulary part. It would be like in the back part of the notebook and you, in that way you are going to increase your vocabulary if constantly you are looking at, that, at those new words. So we are going to start from the next one. We are going to start socializing the answers here. Uh, I'm not going to cover everything because of the time. 
Uh, as I told you from the very beginning, there are many activities for today, and we are going to work very hard, but we cannot stay here. For example, uh, we have here, if you, if you help me with this one, for example, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? If you, if you help me, it would be better, right? For example, the first one, it's the bridge. The bridge, we got the bridge. Additionally, here in the second one, this is second, number three, number four. Uh, it's just to review some vocabulary. The second one, if you help me, it's the river. In Australia, they say the river. In Brisbane, which was the city where I live, it was covered by a, by a big river. They say a big river. And there was a mean of transportation in the river. Había un medio de transporte en el río. En el río. Even some people say that in that river there were some sharks. Que han visto algunos tiburones ahí. Right? I, I don't know if that's true. Um, but the river was with, with water from the sea, from the ocean. Era con agua de salada de, de, del océano. And it covered the whole city. And it was like number three. Number three, what? Conse Hello, Institución Educativa Consejo La Estrella. Right? So, the road, right? Very good. The road. The road, el camino, road. Very good. So, a pathway. But pathway, Institución Educativa Consejo La Estrella, it's not like in the options. We have... A lo último, como la choza, la cabaña, cabaña, was the word, like, la cabañita, it was, it's called the courage, right? Courage, right? And, for example, this last one, number five, esta. How do you say reja, que, bueno, que no pasen de un lugar a otro, por ejemplo, las vacas? How, how do you say it? For example, depending on these ones, We call it, y también me van a ayudar, por ejemplo, como se dice campo. Con esta última, it, uh, number four, it would be like a house. Yeah, a house, but when it's made of wood, when it is kind of handball, it's called cottage, a cottage. Fence, institución educativa Tames, is fence, very good. Y por último, campo se dice field. Ahora vamos a socializar un poco el de las, el de la ciudad. De la ciudad, we have mountain or countryside. Very good. Consejo la estrella. Very good. Now you are doing well. This one, for example, how do you say semáforo in English? Semáforo. Mientras me van, van pensando cómo la ubican, aquí tenemos un audio. Que este era el de la, este de aquí era el de la, el, el del campo. Que lo pueden escuchar One. nuevamente ustedes allá. River. Two. Road. Three. Wood. Four. Mountain. Five. Carriage. Six. And this fence. second one is from the city. Seven. Look. City. One. Traffic light. Two. Pedestrian crossing. Three, bus stop. Four, metro station. Five, city light. Six, garbage bin. Seven, store. Eight, restaurant. Nine, side. Okay, very good. So, Catherine and Institución Educativa, it's a traffic light. Traffic. Traffic light that's a trophy light uh, for example how do you say caneca de la basura how do you say caneca o cesta many people say caneca cesta uh, how do you say it depending on those ones we have restaurant bus stop store garbage bin city light metro station sidewalk pedestrian crossing trophy like very good catherine and angela from tamesis angelo bumbo you are participating a lot today garbage Ben, caneca la basura, garbage bin, very good. How do you say, 
alumbrado público o alumbrado de la ciudad. For example, this one, but we have the name here. Do you know the answer? So I'm going to help you. It would be this one, city light. City light. And how do you say paso peatonal? Very good, Catherine. Consejo la estrella. Paso peatonal. This one. Sidewalk. It would be like por un lado. Como por un, like a path. Como por un lado sería el sidewalk. Sería, eso sería like the pedestrian crossing. Right? For example, I'm going to give you a name. This name. One, one. The sidewalk. The sidewalk sería más o menos como por acá. Listo, sidewalk. Number two. But very good. Pedestrian crossing. Very good. Institución Ocatía Jesús María, Consejo La Estrella. Very good. Sidewalk es como la acera, lo que nosotros conocemos por acera. So, vamos a mirar acá y voy a explicar en una partecita la diferencia entre there is y there are. There is significa hay para singulares y siempre va con a. A or an. Entonces, por ejemplo, there is a banana, there is an apple, an apple. Let me, let me raise this one. Now, there is an apple. Cuando se utiliza a, cuando el sonido de la próxima letra es una consonante y an cuando el sonido es una vocal. Listen, entonces, por ejemplo, there is a banana, there is an apple. Y de, para cosas singulares o cosas incontables. Y there are, cuando son varias, there are. Entonces, por ejemplo, there are three bananas. There are three bananas here, right? Entonces, acá, there is singular y there are plural. Vamos a mirar el primero. There is a small, a ver, vayan pensando cuál sería, le voy a dar nombres, numbers, one, Two, three, four. Vamos a hacer esos cuatro de acá y aquí también vamos a hacer. One, two, three. Vamos a hacer una de la zona rural y otra de la zona urbana. Entonces, de la zona, empezamos con la zona rural. Les voy a enseñar, les voy a ayudar con esa primera. There is, de acuerdo a las imágenes que vimos ahorita. Pero entonces sería, there is a small cottage, una pequeña cabaña. By the road, en el camino. A ver, number two. Across the... We can see the mist. A través del... Ta, ta, ta. Podemos ver como la niebla. ¿Cuál sería? En este caso sería... Across the field. A través del campo. Across the field. We can see the mist. Number three. Number three. There is a... Front the house to the bridge. Entonces, a ver, ¿cuál sería ahí? Que hay entre el puente y la casita. From the house. From the house. So, if you got the answer, hay un río entre la casa y el... So, that's not a good option. The river is not between the house and the... So, there is a road. Hay un camino entre la casa y el... So, number four. Dijimos que vamos a hacer esa también. Es un poquitico más difícil. There is standing by. Entonces, está parada por... Entonces, ¿qué estaría parada? The cow is standing by the... Cerca ese by. También puede ser por o cerca de... By the, ¿Dónde está parada? ¿Cerca de qué? By the river. By the river. But there are many options. By the, by the bridge as well. Cerca de lo que esté. By the grass. Maybe there it could be an option. It's not very common, but it would be one. Now, urban landscape. There is, entonces basándonos ya en este, mirando esta, Mirar bien dónde está el restaurant, the city bus stop, the store, the metro station. Vamos a mirar esta. There is a... There is a restaurant. Y a ver, ¿y el restaurante está en medio de qué? 
There is a restaurant, me vuelvo. Acá nos dice, there is a restaurant between, en medio de, a ver, ustedes miren allá, en medio de que está, there is a restaurant between the, and there are two places. But between the, I'm going to help you with the first one, bus stop, and the second one, very good, Institución Ocatiario Gutierrez, and the store, very good, and the store. Very good. There is a restaurant between the bus stop and the store. Hay un restaurante en medio de la parada de buses y la tienda. Number two. There is a... Entonces, esta como está un poquitico, le voy a ayudar con esto. There is a garbage bin. Garbage bin. Hay una cesta de basura next to. Entonces, la cesta de la basura está al lado de que me devuelvo. The garbage bin is next to the, a ver, está al lado de qué? The garbage bin is next to the one, two, and three. Institución Ocatía Sus María, es Consejo de la Estrella, City Light. City Light. Very good. City Light. Number three, la última. The traffic light. Is in front of the, el, el semáforo está al frente de él, de, y dejamos hasta acá. Está al frente de que, a ver, one, a ver, yo me devuelvo para que puedan mirar. The traffic light, the traffic light is in front of the metro station. Very good, Angela from Thomas is Catherine, metro station. Vamos a dar hasta ahí por cuestiones de tiempo, right? Hey, thank you very much for that participation. You have done it very well. So, le voy a dejar de, de como actividad guiada dos actividades. La primera va a ser esta última actividad de comprensión. Esta última actividad de comprensión tiene que ver con medios de transporte y los lugares de la ciudad. Y es muy importante que la hagan y busquen en el diccionario los lugares de la ciudad que no conocen porque para la descripción de su video, del trabajo final, van a necesitar mucho los, la, las... La, esta actividad pues y todo este vocabulario esta actividad es interactiva entonces usted puede drag and drop y dónde van los lugares de la ciudad y dónde van los medios de transporte eh, la, el vocabulario que no conozca eh, búsquelo y vaya llenando en su cuaderno esa parte porque es muy importante que vayas adquiriendo más y más vocabulario esta entonces sería más o menos así eh, Ah, bueno, estas eran las, the, like, the answers de todo, like, the answers of the countryside and the city, the answers of the, of, of the reason there are, and, y acá están la, las answers de las últimas, de los lugares de la ciudad, que hay unos muy interesantes, airport, art gallery, restaurant, school, shopping mall, storehouse, theater, university, zoo, y están los medios de transporte también, de la ambulancia, la bicicleta, los que van caminando a pie, es un medio de transporte. Entonces, que lo hagan esta, de esta última. Esa sería la última parte de esta misma actividad. Si pueden o si quieren, la hacen en conjunto todos en el salón con el profesor. Y por último, hey, good job. For, thank you very much for that participation, everyone. Y por último, la actividad guiada que es, where do you prefer to live? Y esta actividad guiada va a ser como el primer step, el primer paso para ir formando ese video final. Dice, dar información sobre algunos sitios representativos del pueblo. En la unidad 2 hay una actividad similar a esta. Entonces puedes devolverte y empezar a unir todo esto. In this exercise you are going to use some vocabulary about the representative places in your hometown or in your countryside. Refer to the backpack, vayan a la mochila and check the use of there is and there are. ¿Por qué vas a checar? ¿Por qué chequear esto? Porque aquí vas a utilizar in my town, in my town, en mi pueblo, there are two parks, there is a bus station, there are three schools, there is a, there is a big shopping center, uh, there are Several, there are five art galleries, there is a big restaurant. Entonces, para que recuerdes cómo es que se utiliza, there is y there are, sin embargo yo lo mencioné acá. 
Take some pictures of the places you like the most in your town and label them. Que tome una foto de los lugares que más le gustan de su pueblo. Alguna actividad similar a esta ya la habíamos hecho anteriormente. E incluso por ahí habían visto, habían algunas. Entonces, puedes reutilizar. You are going to recycle those activities. Y en, en esas actividades vas a empezar a escribir debajo oraciones de lo, que, de lo que puedes hacer allá. Voy a mostrar algunos ejemplos. These are some examples. We have the main square, coffee shop, parking lot, drugstore, fruit stand. That is it. There is a main square in my town. Hay como un main square, también puede ser como un parque. There is a main square in my town. I go there with my friends. Yo voy allá con mis amigos. On Sundays. Puede decir que ya lo... We eat ice cream and eat fruit. Comemos eh, helado y fruta. Or there is an attraction park or there is an art gallery and I go there to observe new works or new jobs. And for example, I go, there is a very special library and I go there to read new books. Vamos a mirar otros ejemplos. Eh, con la catedral, entonces hay una catedral en mi pueblo, I go every Sunday, voy todos los domingos, I attend at 10 a.m. the mass, la misa, after the mass, I go with my family to the coffee shop, right, después de, lo, de la misa, vamos a observar el último ejemplo, there are some other examples, botanical garden, swimming pool, kite festival, There are many places to go in my city. I usually go to the botanic, botanical garden with my girlfriend. Voy con mi novia al jardín botánico. Entonces, hay muchos lugares de la, de la ciudad de, o de sus pueblos que ustedes me pueden decir. Eh, la otra vez ustedes me contaban que el salto del ángel, que el nacimiento del río Medellín. La otra vez me contaban de la negra que llevaba algo aquí. De Urrao también me, me contaban muchas cosas interesantes. De Gómez Plata, Vegachí. Me, me van a contar, pueden escoger más o menos cinco lugares y comenzarlo. Porque esto después lo vamos a meter en su video, ¿cierto? Y pueden meter las imágenes con, el, con, con, los, con los subtítulos. Eh, fuera de esto, yo les voy a pedir un favor muy, muy especial. No es obligatorio, es solamente eh, que ustedes, eh, a los profesores allá que me van a escoger dos, tres, cuatro estudiantes y que participen activamente, pues que estén en el curso, que estén inscritos en el curso y para que me colaboren con un pequeño cuestionario que les dura más se demora para contestar más o menos cada uno unos cinco minuticos, son casi 20 preguntas de opción múltiple sobre el programa, sobre el manejo de las ICT, de las nuevas tecnologías en, en la enseñanza del inglés, es un cuestionario muy similar al que los profesores ya me colaboraron llenando, sino que necesito ya la opinión del estudiante, luego la teoría para ya luego triangular información. Entonces, eh, que sean estudiantes que, que lo deseen hacer también, no que lleguen allá, ah, ¿qué puedes hacer? Sino, y entonces, por ejemplo, si hoy el tiempo no les da, el jueves les vuelvo y les mando el link, les mando el link y, y hacemos dos o tres estudiantes hoy y dos el, el, el próximo in la próxima sesión. So, for example, uh, this is the first class. In the second class, we can do it. Thank you very much for understanding this. Muchas gracias a los que me deseen colaborar con esto. And thank you very much for being in this class. It was really a pleasure to be here with you, guiding you, helping you. Uh, please, if you can help me with some answers, do it. Uh, ese cuestionario, yo tengo permiso por escrito de la universidad para aplicarlo, es solamente opcional, alguien que desea hacerlo, la información que obtenga de ahí, como dice ahí en forma escrita, va a ser tratada de forma anónima, de hecho no tienen que escribir el nombre por ningún lado, y hay algunas, las últimas preguntas son abiertas, por si quieres dar ya como comentarios adicionales, algo extra que quieras decir. Eh, yo les agradezco mucho a los profesores también por colaborarme con los estudiantes, repito, no es obligatorio, es solamente para los que deseen. Recordemos que acá entonces vamos a hacer la actividad 
última actividad, creación de medios de transporte y lugares de la ciudad y la actividad guiada que es de los lugares de la, de, de la ciudad o del pueblo de ustedes que puedan visitar y que eso va a ser también para el video final. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure. Un abrazo muy grande para todos, para todos mis colegas allá, para mis estudiantes, para las personas que nos ven offline. See you and have a good day. Remember that I'm going to stay here for, for some minutes if you need additional information. Right? Okay, bye bye and have a good day. See you next time.